So I was born in New York, a town called Spring Valley, New York. My family's from Haiti. Uh, my father died a couple years ago after the earthquakes. You know, some stuff went down. And, uh, and my mom, she's still in New York. I had it here a couple years ago, but she did not like it. She wanted to go back to New York. So my mom's back in New York. So I've been in Vegas for the past 18 years, but I'm born and raised in New York. I used to live in Queens, New Jersey, all that stuff. Now I'm in Vegas. I'm happy I'm here now because I got to shovel no snow. You know, all you people out here from Minnesota, Chicago, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yes, I came to Vegas in 2003. I played for the New Jersey Gladiators. They moved the team from New Jersey to Las Vegas. And the way it happened, it was so last minute, I was shocked and devastated. So they moved the team here, the Gladiators. Coach James was the head, uh, matter of fact, he wasn't the head coach, it was Coach Hagee. And they moved the team here, they, they moved the team here, and we were exciting. But then we started losing, and the fans stopped coming, you know? And then, you know, another year came by, I, I left, went to another team, went to Ohio. Then I came back again, and then moved around. So what brought me to Vegas was arena football. So I'm happy for arena football that I'm in Vegas. If it wasn't for arena football, I would not be to Vegas. I wouldn't have met my wife, and, and I wouldn't be doing what I do. I love bartending, but I also love cooking. Maybe someday I could be the man in this jerk chicken thing, you know what I'm saying? But I miss football, I'm 50 years old, so I can't take any more of the hits, you know? I'm a washed up old man. Um, Wookie's Jerk Chicken. Um, it's funny how this came about, because for years, I always cook for the fellas. Cook for the fellas, and my best man, Jason Walter, he's up in Syracuse. He's Jamaican, I'm Haitian. I used to make the rice and beans all the time, he make the jerk chicken. And for years, we go to Harlem, Queens, Brooklyn, you name it, any borough, and we just do our thing. And I moved out here, I was complaining to my mom about what's going on, Miss New York, and she said, yo, you need to start cooking your own damn food. So I'm out here cooking for years, and my wife seen what was going on, because I'm a bartender at a local casino, and you know, the, the pandemic hit, and I got a friend named Randy Gable, former arena football player for the Arizona Rattlers. He has a food truck in Arizona. So I went out there to Arizona to see what he's doing. And my wife for years been trying to get me to do this. So I'm doing a food truck, rice and beans, jerk chicken, and, and, a, and a vegetable. I want to do more. I want to do a dish called griots, Haitian pork, like jerk pork, uh, fried bananas. But the bananas out here are different. I'm just used to the ones I get in New York, New Jersey, and Florida. So once I get the right platanos to come to Vegas, I'll cook some platanos. You know, so I, I, since I can't go back to New York, I'm married too. with kids. I try to bring New York or the Caribbean to Vegas. I know there's a lot of yardies out here, a lot of jerk, a lot of jerks out here. You know, I'm a different type of jerk. So I hope everybody will like my jerk. You know, you know, I think there's enough jerk for everybody in this town, but I want to become the man when it comes to the jerk thing. So, seeing professional sports here in Vegas is exciting. I mean. When I was here with the New Jersey Gladiators, we were kind of like the second thing. I think it was called the must, the Las Vegas thing, whatever it was called, something. And then we came, and people, some people didn't consider us pro, but as long as you collect the check, you're a pro, just like that former hockey team that was here before. That was a pro team. So now that we got the, uh, the Raiders, Las Vegas Raiders, I'm excited because my, uh, my buddy Dwayne Joseph, my former teammate, he's a part of the administration of the Raiders. Dwayne Joseph, my guy, he gave me my first chance with this jerk chicken thing. Um, but I, I'm happy to see pro sports here. I hope we get a... Uh, a basketball team. Here, rumors of basketball team. We got the soccer going. We got the girls' basketball team. I'm excited. We need this in Vegas. Vegas is an up and coming, growing city, and I think it's a beautiful thing. As far as the obstacle of being who I am right now, because uh, I was a football player. And when I was in college, I always said you gotta have a B plan. I got my degree. I got my degree from Syracuse University. I was playing football, but I wasn't sure what I was gonna do. And so my wife, you know, I met my wife. She's a cocktail in Paris. Her best friend, Nikki Bounds, she got me a job uh, bartending. So I was we're Texas Station, Green Valley, Mandalay Bay, now I'm at MGM, I'm excited, you know? So, uh, so I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, but I always did the cooking thing, you know? So this looks like this is my backup plan, because I'm pretty good at cooking this rice and beans and jerk chicken, I'm pretty good. So I think my backup plan is to cook, you know? So I, you know, I, I think I could do this. I, I, I hope I can leave something behind for my wife and kids. Uh, so we're here at Wookiee's Jerk Chicken. Been here since like nine something this morning. Man, it's running out of stuff. Man, I got a lot. It's running out of size. They need to put more size. In the Caribbean culture, does you hate? We'll give you a gang of rice and hardly any meat. So I try to be fair. Do it the American way. Give you a lot of rice, a lot of vegetable, a lot of chicken. Show that love so you come back. You know. So this here is the jerk chicken right here. Uh, I'm from Haiti, and my best man's from Jamaica. So back back in the day, we were living in the streets of New York. He cooked, I cooked the rice and beans, he cooked the jerky chicken. So, the combination of Jamaican food and Haitian food combined together. 
This right here is a pineapple orange juice mix with a little lime juice. Make it nice and juicy and flavor. Because nobody wants to eat no dry chicken, you know? You know what I'm saying, Will? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so jerk chicken. And then I'm cooking uh, beans right now. In order to cook rice and beans, you got to boil the beans. So, so that's a process. See, the beans are boiling. I got to boil the suckers until they get soft. You know? And then I can do my magic with the rice and beans. I miss playing football. I miss hitting people in the mouth, but you know, life after football, you know what I'm saying? Um, also, for a while, I mean, Todd Hamburg got me to a box gym. I scored a couple of former NBA champs, and the, like Samuel Peters, Brandon Harris, all these guys. Uh, so I was boxing for a while. I still work out on my own. I got a gym I call Broke Gym. It's over there uh, at uh, Reunion Park. If you ever bo bored, want to come work out at Broke Gym? Broke. So I, <laughs> it's for people who ain't got no money, you know? <laughs> So I'm cooking this chicken right here. Yes, yes. The hurdles is getting your money right. You know, getting your money right to support um, locations, support. Um, right now I'm getting lucky. He's got a lot of support. Like a lot of people from uh, MGM, the Paris, all these casinos, all these people I know, they came by to see me. So it's very challenging. As far as the obstacles, uh, the biggest obstacle, believe it or not, was the mechanics. I hired some criminal mechanics. I know I can't say their names, but they know who they are. I got ripped off, you know? I need to call police or maybe get a lawyer. I spent a lot of money I, to get some work done on my truck. The truck wasn't done, the commissary. So I'm very bitter about getting ripped off. And a lot of my friends who were in the business said, Wilkie, you're gonna get some, um, some hurdles, you know? So I'm learning on the fly as far as things you can and can't do, you know? Trust is a big thing. And I had some people let me down, man. Product's getting better. Go on site. Go this one back there. I got sick in this kitchen when he ate his food. I don't want to be that guy like my coach would say. Don't be that guy. Don't free that car, Wolfie, for sure. So, yes, yes. We uh, put some more raw chicken in this pizza. So this chicken is my, uh, this is my, my jerk seasoning that I make. All type of juices, all type of juices that is the key to the jerk. The key to the jerk. That everybody can be a jerk. Life after football, so I bartend. You doing my free time? I'm doing this. All type of juices, uh, vegetables, parsley, basil, oregano, on and on. I'm trying to not think too spicy because everybody don't have the same palate, you know? Alright, Where's that lid? Okay. You better get the small eyes off. It's not your good bone. Juice, I got mango, pineapple, orange juice to make the, the chicken more flavorful with the habaneros and the ginger, the cinnamon and the nutmeg all mixed combined. Like, it's a process making a jerk. It takes a jerk to be a jerk to make jerk. Automation. You know, being a, a bartender upstairs see automation. I like it looked like if these casinos could, if they could replace this machine, they will. And I understand costs. I'm a business owner now, you know. I can't really afford to hire nobody because I haven't made no money yet, you know? So, like these businesses, they're trying to do things themselves, but so I gotta find a way to do something different because bartending, I don't know how much longer it's gonna last. Unless you're a good looking girl in this town, nobody's gonna throw you a dollar, you know what I'm saying? Try to keep the lights on. So, I'm doing something that I love, so I just gotta step my game up and get better at this craft, get better. I'm excited, man. Now that I'm here, I'm excited. Uh, this has been going on for months trying to get this process going. And my mother-in-law, Lida, she basically said, yo, you gotta get it out here. Let's see what you could do. I didn't prepare that much, man. You know, I thought for, you know, I cooked at least 200 something meals. That thing is done within two hours. So prep, prep, prep is very important. The vegetables, the seasoning of the meat, because you know, for us Caribbean food, everybody don't have the same palate, you know, so you gotta just prepare a certain way. Be on top of your craft. Don't be lazy. Fresh spices, herbs, 
you know, juices, you know, good product. I noticed a difference on the cost, so with, uh, so what I try to do is look for good deals certain places. Like I go to Costco, I go to Cardenas, La Bonita, certain type of stores to get my stuff. As far as the meats, I try to get them and, and, and freeze them, you know, because it's getting scary out there in the near future. It's, you, you're right, the cost is going up. I went to go get some stuff at the store, I was shocked how much the heads of cabbage cost. Chicken's going up, you know? Well, while being in Vegas, I'm starting to see diversity. I've been here for 18 years. I, I felt it wasn't like New York to me, like the culture, missing, me, meeting different people with different backgrounds. But I walk around with a Haiti shirt on or Jamaica shirt, and people see my truck, they say, sec passe, sec passe in Creole means what's up, you know? So I'd be, I'd be thinking I'm the only Haitian. I'll run to a, another Jamaica, another Yardi, somebody who's Caribbean, and we start conversing. I got brothers from Cameroon, Mali, uh, Congo, uh, you know, so I'm starting to see diversity. I'm meeting people from everywhere and I love it. I love meeting all types of people. I got my people from Kosovo, uh, uh, Croatia. So I love it. I, cause I can't go back to New York. So let's bring New York to Vegas. Please come and see me. Uh, I plan on coming here. Please go on um, Wookie Brazil's Jerk Chicken on Instagram, Wookie Brazil's Jerk Chicken on uh, Facebook, um, also on TikTok, Wookie Brazil's Jerk Chicken on TikTok. Um, Vegas bartender, he's he's big. He, please follow him because I'm through him. Uh, please come here every Tuesday, man. Cornerstone Park in Henderson. Please come and check me out. See what you think, you know? L let's do this, man. Thank you, people. Thank you, Vegas. God bless you all. R r right now, I, I see this is my main spot, but I want to go to pubs. Uh, I want to do festivals like Life is Beautiful, EDC, the racetrack. I, I want to do bigger things, you know? I definitely want to do bigger things. I want to get the name moving, you know? I just want to say thank you, man. Um, Las Vegas, I've been out here for 18 years. I love this city. I'm a New Yorker, but I've been out here for 18 years. And uh, all the people from my past, thank you for showing me love, showing me support. And for you people that don't know me, please come out and check me out, man. I hope I can you know, get you to love me and I love you back. Um, I'm just trying to do something different, life after football.